Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session uh, from physiology portion for MRCS Part A exam. This is the question. First of all, read the question very carefully. Which of the following best accounts for the action of parathyroid hormone in increasing serum calcium level? So we know that the, the parathyroid hormone it increases the serum calcium level by different pathway. But among them, we have to find out the best pathway through which the parathyroid hormone increases the serum calcium level parathyroid hormone it acts on different part of the body such as the bone kidney and intestine and it increases the calcium and we have to find out the best way to increase the serum calcium level here the options options are activation of vitamin d to increase absorption of calcium from the small intestine direct stimulation of osteoclast to absorb bone with the release of calcium stimulation of phosphate absorption at the distal convoluted tubule of the kidney decrease porosity of the vessels in the bowman capsule to calcium vasospasm of the efferent art renal arteriole thereby reducing zephyr and calcium and calcium urinary loss so let's see details about the parathyroid hormone so here we can see this is the effect of parathyroid hormone first of all it acts on the bone and from the bone it releases calcium and phosphate so here we can see the pts first binds to the osteoblast because the pts it has no receptor on osteoclast but we have to activate the osteoblast and this osteoblast is activated by the uh, sorry this osteoclast is activated by the osteoblast so for resorption of the bone and release of the calcium from the bone to the blood there is need of the osteoclast but the parathyroid hormone it has no receptor for osteoclast so the parathyroid hormone first bind with the osteoblast and this osteoblast activates the osteoclast and then bone resorption occur and calcium and phosphate they are released in the blood so it is the first pathway by which the parathyroid hormone increases the serum calcium level the second option is the kidney in this pathway the parathyroid hormone it increases the reabsorption of the calcium so this point is very very important that the parathyroid hormone acts on the kidney and it increases the calcium level by increase a reabsorption of the calcium in the kid and the third option from the intestine but this is the indirect work of the parathyroid hormone in this way the parathyroid hormone it acts on proximal convoluted tubule and there uh, from uh, there and from there the signal pathway activated and this signal pathway goes to the intestine and there is the increase blood increase absorption of the calcium from the intestine and increase the blood calcium level so this three pathway the parathyroid hormone increases the serum calcium level from the bone from the kidney and from the intestine so this three now we have to find out the best way to increase the serum calcium level first of all here we can see in the bone it acts uh, uh, it activates finally osteoclast and release of the calcium but in this way the bone become more weakened and there is chance of development of pathological fracture because bone become weakened uh, due to loss of the calcium by acting the parathyroid hormone. so it is not the best way for the parathyroid to increase the serum calcium level without any harm of the body then second one is the kidney in this pathway the kidney absorb most of the calcium and the magnesium and also it uh, excreted the more more phosphate but then the third option here we can see through the intestine and it is the indirect pathway in this path way the parathyroid hormone it increases absorption of the dietary calcium from the intestine so uh, this is the best way for the parathyroid to increase absorption of calcium from the intestine because it is dietary source and it is available here we can see this is the parathyroid hormone so when parathyroid hormone activates activated it acts on the bones first of all osteoclast osteoblast then osteoclast and this osteoclast it releases calcium and other products from the bones and increase the serum calcium level the second one parathyroid hormone acts on the renal tubular cell and it increases the serum calcium level 
reabsorption from the kidney and increase serum calcium level and here also we can see 125 dihydrox colical cephalol also produced in the proximal convoluted tubular cell and it goes to the intestine and it increases the serum calcium level and uh, in mm, among these three pathway this and you can see the intestinal pathway it is the available pathway and it is very possible to supplement the calcium and it is very possible to its calcium balance or calcium arrest food product uh, ingestion so it is the most suitable pathway for the increased calcium level by the parathyroid hormone in this picture also where we can see this is the parathyroid hormone it acts on the bones it acts on the kidney and it talks, acts on the intestine and through these three uh, organ acting on these three organ it increases the serum calcium level and now see uh, parathyroid hormone uh, it increases the activity of alpha 1 hydroxylase in the bones and it releases the calcium phosphate and other substances from the bones the second one here we can see it converts 25 hydroxy colical cephalol to 125 dihydroxy colical cephalol to activate uh, the form of the vitamin d actually the uh, alpha 1 hydroxylase it acts uh, on the proximal convoluted tubule and also there is another hydroxylase which uh, also acts on the bone and here the osteoclast Osteoclast, it don't have the PTH receptor, that means the parathyroid hormone receptor. This point is very, very important because uh, for bone resorption or destruction of the bone, osteoclast must be activated and it is only possible by the parathyroid hormone. But the parathyroid hormone has no receptor for osteoclast. So the parathyroid hormone first bind with the osteoblast, then the osteoblast activates the osteoclast. So here our final answer here which is the best for the parathyroid hormone the parath best for parathyroid hormone is activation of the vitamin d and this vitamin d it can increase the absorption of the calcium other options such as here we can see direct stimulation of the osteoclast it is not possible because the parathyroid hormone as stimulate first of all the osteoblast but um, it is also not true because though it finally activates osteoclast but it is not the uh, beneficiary effect on our body for a long term because it uh, weakens our bone and there is chance of development of a pathological fracture the stimulation of phosphate deosmation it is not true we need calcium not phosphate decrease porosity of the vessels of the bone capsule it is also not true and vasospasm not true so our final answer is the activation of the vitamin d to increase the absorption of the calcium from the small intestine thank you all